Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. If you want to know the real cause of earthquake for that you will actually need to understand the structure of the earth. So let us see what are the various layers which are present inside the earth. Now based on the chemical composition the structure of the earth is divided into four major layers that is crust, mantle, outer core and inner core. So this is how it looks like. So earth as we all know it is kind of spherical in shape. So inside that sphere it is it is a lot of things are present inside the sphere. It is like a ball. So inside the ball is not hollow. Instead inside the ball you have a smaller ball. Inside that you have yet another smaller ball. Inside that you again have a smaller ball. So that's how you have four different layers. Right? So now if you just try to so if you just try to peep inside and see what is present inside that ball, the ball is right now earth. So you will see these four layers. Now in these four layers, the outermost layer is the crust. So here if you see this black thin layer, that is crust. Inside crust you have quite a thick layer. So you see this red layer, it is quite thick. So this is mantle. Inside this you have the outer core. This is outer core. And the innermost one is the inner core. So these are the four major layers which are present within the earth. So the surface of the earth is basically situated on the crust. So crust is the outermost and if you see here the black layer is the thinnest layer. So are you able to understand this picture? It is like a ball but the ball is not hollow inside. Inside the ball also you have so many different stuffs. So I have just cut a cross section of the ball just to see what is there inside. So I am just seeing it from one side of the ball. Right? So if you look at it from sideways, so the side view would be something like this. So this is earth. So if you look at it from one side, you will see inside the bigger ball which is earth, you have a smaller ball inside that yet another smaller ball and inside you have the inner core. So this is inner core, then outer core, then mantle and then the thin crust. So that is how the structure of the earth is. Now let us see the details of each of these layers in little more detail. So the first is inner core. So the innermost layer as the name suggests and it is extremely dense. The density is very very high and it is solid in nature. And it is mostly made up of iron and nickel. So you will see that uh, the core that is inner core, outer core, they are mostly made up of, uh, they contain a lot of iron inside it and that is how the magnetic field of the earth is created because iron is a magnetic material. So magnetic field of the earth comes out of these iron which is present within the earth. So this inner core is extremely hot. The temperature of the inner core is approximately 5500 degrees Celsius. In fact, it is more than this. So the temperature in inner core is more than 5500 degrees Celsius and sometimes it even goes to 6000 degrees Celsius. Next is the outer core. Outer core is also quite dense but it is liquid. So it is kind of molten and it is also composed of iron. So the iron here is liquid iron. So here also the temperature is quite high somewhere around 5000 degrees Celsius. But inner core is the most hottest. So as you come outside, the temperature go, goes on decreasing. The next one is mantle. So mantle is solid. However, sometimes or in some areas it might be liquid. It is the thickest layer of the earth. So you saw in the picture that was thickest layer. It is composed of rocks which are rich in iron and magnesium. So the temperature in mantle is around 1200 degrees Celsius. So you see the temperature is gradually decreasing as we are coming towards the outer layer. And finally crust which is the outermost layer and crust is relatively a thick thin layer when compared to all other layers. And in crust also we have two types of crust that is one is oceanic crust and the other one is the continental crust. So what do we mean by oceanic and continental crust? 
So the outermost layer which is located below the ocean basins that is called the oceanic crust and oceanic crust is even thinner than continental crust. Continental crust it forms the uh, it is located under the continents so it is comparatively thicker so oceanic crust is thinner part of the crust and continental crust is the thicker part of the crust. But crust is anyway a thin layer, it is not a very thick layer when compared to mantle and the pores. Now the interesting part here is, so here you can see this is crust, the interesting part is the outer part of the crust, that is the outer part of the sphere. It is not just one single piece, like if you imagine a ball, so the outer portion of the ball is like just one piece. But in this case, that is not the case. Instead, it is made up of a number of uh, parts which are all joined together to form the crust. So that is how the outer side of the crust is. So we say that the crust is fragmented. That is, it is made up of separate pieces and each piece is called a fragment and it is it has been given a name called plate. So we say that the crust is made up of plates. Now, these plates play the most important role in behind the cause of earthquakes. So here if you see, this is how the, here the earth is in the form of a ball. Now if you try to magnify how it looks like, it looks some more like this. Now this is not just one single piece. So this black outlines which you see, these are the plates. So several such plates, so you see this is one plate, this is one plate, this one is one plate. This is again one plate. So this is how you have so many different plates and all these plates joined together is forming the surface of the crust. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.